Hi, and welcome to the final section, Section 6, Application Platforms for Universal React. In this section, we're going to examine some of the open source application platforms and libraries for building universal web applications that can help us in building production-ready universal apps. We'll be looking at Electrode, Mern, React Server, and Next.js. For each of these platforms, we'll describe what it offers, when you would use it, and walk through a live coding example using the platforms or libraries in each video. Now we move on to the first video of this section that introduces Electrode I.O. In this video, we're going to take a look at why universal application platforms are needed, what Electrode can help us with, and a sample application using Electrode. Before jumping into the first platform, it'd be good to start with the question of why we'd even need an application platform to build universal applications. In the last video, we were able to build a universal application without using a platform at all. However, when projects get larger with many developers making changes, a platform offers the structure needed for developers to work effectively with one another. Platforms achieve this by providing some kind of code or file structure, as well as an application architecture. These platforms also typically provide a command line utility, or some kind of scaffolding to generate initial applications and the structure. Many also offer optimizations for server-side rendering to speed up and improve user experience. Let's now look at Electrode. Electrode is a platform for building universal React Node.js applications with standard structure, best practices, and modern technologies. Electrode focuses on performance, component reusability, and simple deployments to multiple cloud providers. The heart of the platform is the Electrode archetypes, which allow for standardized configuration and structure of the app and its associated React components. Electrode's archetype system helps streamline development and deployment. Electrode consists of three pillars, Electrode Core, Electrode Modules, and Electrode Tools. Electrode Core provides a set of modules that gets us started with a simple, consistent structure and helps in deployment to any cloud provider. Electrode Modules improve performance, efficiency, and security by adding features like above-the-fold rendering, configuration management, and cross-site request forgery protection. Electrode tools help organize reusable components and optimize large JavaScript bundles. Now let's walk through a sample universal application built using Electrode. First, we need to make sure we have the latest versions of Node and NPM installed. We also need to make sure to install the Gulp CLI globally. We will generate our Electrode application using the Yeoman Generator. The Yeoman Generator is simply a plugin that helps developers generate an application quickly. So now let's globally install the Yeoman Generator for Electrode. Now let us make a directory for our sample application. We will cd into this new directory. Now let us run the Yeoman Electro Generator. After installing the Yeoman Generator for Electrode, we can now use Yeoman Generator to generate our application. It's going to ask us several questions about our application name, the description, the homepage URL, it also gives us an opportunity to select the framework for our server. We can choose between HappyJS, ExpressJS, or CoaJS. In this case, we'll just use HappyJS. It will now create the directory structure with basic application files, as well as install the dependencies. This may take several minutes to complete, but once done, we will have a basic application that we can start implementing on top of. So now let us take a look at the Electrode application that has been generated. The Yeoman Generator has generated a config directory, a source directory, and a test directory. In both the test and source directories, we have a server directory as well as a client directory. 
Let us now run our application by running gulp dev. And opening our browser to localhost port 3000. And see that this application was in fact rendered on the server. Look at the JS content div here. As well as the preloaded state here. We're going to update the home.jsx and add three React components. The app bar example icon menu, the card example with avatar, and the button navigation example simple. The app bar example icon menu, you will use the material UI components to generate a menu at the top of the page. And the card example with avatar will use the material UI card component. And likewise, the bottom navigation example simple component will use the material UI bottom navigation component. The source code for these components can be easily found in the GitHub repo provided in this section. When we reload the page, we can see our new application. We can also look at the view source. Looking at the JS content div, we can see the HTML which was rendered on the server. By using the electrode framework to manage the server rendering of the electrode components. The code that we wrote in section 5 is now encapsulated in the electrode framework.